today we are going to talk about ylang ylang. And ylang ylang is a wonderful oil. Um, it smells wonderful. It is one of the main ingredients in Chanel Number no. 5 perfume. Um, it's used in a lot of different perfumes. It has been, um, it's been used for centuries in perfumes and religious ceremonies, aromatherapy, wedding events, um, and it is steam distilled from the blossom. It, in the native language, and I can't, it was a weird sounding language, and I can't remember what it is. Um, it means flower of flowers. Sometimes people call it the cheap man's jasmine. But the flower is really, really pretty. It's really delicate. Um, it's a plant characterized by its drooping branches and bright green leaves. Along the green stems of this plant grow stalks from which multiple yellow green flowers bloom. These flowers dangle from the stalks and are highly fragrant. Um, the Pungent flowers also produce green fruits that grow in clusters and turn black when they're ripe. Mm -hmm. So this over here is kind of a little bit vis uh, visual of the tree, but the flowers just look so, um, so pretty. Um, it takes two pounds of flowers to produce one 15L bottle of ylang ylang. So it takes a lot of flowers and they, they're they harvested from Madagascar um, is where doTERRA sources them from. They are a lot, you can find them in Asia and the Polynesian islands and Indonesia and the Philippines. But doTERRA gets them from um, Madagascar. The women have to go out really early in the morning and pick the blossoms. They have to be picked brought down in and weighed and gotten to the distillery within 24 hours um, for it to have the highest quality oils. So it's pretty labor intensive and um, pretty cool. I've, I'm going to send you with the handout that I'm going to send you some links to some videos that are, there's two co-impact sourcing ones because doTERRA has really done some cool stuff on one of them. I was watching and a man was talking about how his children are able to get an education. In Madagascar, you have to pay to even be able to go to elementary school. And so his um, children have been able to get an education. His daughter was just starting and applying to be admitted into college. And his son was able to go to a police academy and get a good job because of his work at the doTERRA distillery. Um, so the co impact sourcing is just really cool. And then there's one that is the story behind the bottle. So in the handouts, then I will um, include them and, and let you know what, what the links are to those videos that you can watch because they're, they're really cool. So Ylang Ylang is the oil of the inner child. It is a powerful remedy for the heart. Modern society honors and reveres the mind over the heart. Yet the heart with its intuitive ways of receiving information is an essential part of the soul. Ylang Ylang reconnects an individual with the inner child and the pure simple ways of the heart. It encourages play and restores a childlike nature and innocence. It is a powerful remedy for releasing the emotional trauma from the past. It assists individuals in releasing bottled up emotions such as anger and sadness. Do you ever have those? I have those a lot. Um, and maybe that's one of the reasons I love ylang ylang. Feelings that have been buried are brought to light through ylang ylang's assistance. This oil allows emotional healing to flow naturally nurturing the heart through the process. It reminds the individual that joy can be felt and experienced more fully by allowing the heart its full range of emotions. So some of the... What? Did somebody have a question? Okay, so the negative emotions are feeling joyless, overstressed, overanalyzing. That's a big one for me. Grief, sadness, loss of a loved one, and disconnected from your inner child. 
The positive properties are a feeling of freedom, playful, intuitive, heart healing, emotionally filled, joyful, and accepting. Um, so then the top properties, it is hypotensive, and I can never remember which one is hypo and which one is hyper. So hypotensive is lowering blood pressure. An aphrodisiac, aphrodisiac antispasmodic, sedative, antidepressant, antioxidant, antiseptic, and tonic, which means just having your whole body kind of in tune and in good working order. So some of the primary benefits are it's really supportive of your um, heart health. It, is, it balances your heart and things. It improves blood flow and fl fights inflammation. Okay, I can talk, I promise. It fights inflammation and supports healthy circulatory system. Got it out. Um, it's great at helping support your heart to have a natural rhythm. Um, it's calming to the nervous system. You can, if you have heart concerns, you can just put one drop and massage it over your heart daily. You can combine that with fractionated coconut oil if you want. You can, it can be taken internally, so you can add it a drop or two into warm water or tea. It is a natural energizer. Um, so it can just give you um, lots of energy. You can combine two drops of ylang ylang and two drops of a citrus oil um, and just smell it in. You can diffuse it and it will help your energy. If you, want it to if you want to have more energy when you're exercising, then put a drop or two in one palm, rub three times clockwise and put your oil on your wrist points, behind your ears, back of neck, um, so it can run through your central nervous system. And then breathe deeply from your hands and make sure that you're really be not just really shallow, but so that your whole chest and your stomach is expanding to, to take really, um, really good deep breath. So it's getting all through your lungs. Mm -hmm. It's a mood enhancer. It directly affects all the essential oils directly affect your olfactory system. So you can inhale it and it will have an immediate effect on your um, mood. It expands the heart so it can help release negative emotions like anger, low self-esteem and jealousy. Um, to release tension, you can combine two drops of ylang ylang with two drops of frankincense. For building confidence, two drops of ylang ylang and two drops of bergamot. If you are um, have lots of problems with insomnia, then you can put it in your diffuser or the Dawn humidifier. Um, you can make a spritzer spray for linens that you just combine um, ylang ylang, water or witch hazel, wild orange and patchouli or patchouli and then just spritz it in a spray bottle and then you just spritz it on your, um, on your linens, on your pillow and stuff. It is a great for your skin health. It helps prevent signs of aging and can give you a youthful glow. Um, Cleopatra used ylang ylang in her beauty routines. Um, there, it's an antioxidant and so it can help protect protects skin cells from oxidative stress and DNA damage. And um, you can combine the drops with fractionated coconut oil and massage it over your face. And it is great in protecting your skin from um, sun damage and other things that develop from too much skin. If you are um, experiencing mood swings from PMS, Ylang Ylang is a good order to uh, oil to consider. It is great for your hair. Um, it's it has an, a thickening effect on your hair. I think here's another one I need to add to my shampoo to get my my hair is so thin. But 
I'd love to have it be thicker. Um, you can condition your hair by mixing a drop or two with coconut oil and massage it into your scalp and leave it on overnight. Um, it can prevent, prevent tangles and dandruff. Um, some studies have shown that it can be effective against head lice. So this one, Melluca is really good against head lice. When you have problems with your blood sugar levels, then ylang ylang is a great one to do because it, again, is supportive of your tissues and cells. So it helps protect them from damage. It can, it has been used as an aphrodisiac for centuries. Um, so if that's something you want, then use it. Some other useful ideas, it's great to diffuse with grapefruit, vetiver, sandalwood, cedarwood, or wild orange. Um, for a natural home freshener that smells tropical, two drops of ylang ylang, two drops of jasmine. If you've got really sensitive skin, then dilute it one-to-one -one with fractionated coconut oil. Mm -hmm. You can add a few drops to Epsom salts and have a really calming, relaxing bath. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you can combine it with ylang ylang and um, use it for a massage blend. You can give yourself a steam facial. Get a fill a large bowl with um, steaming water. Put a couple of drops of drops, a couple of drops, drops, do you like that? Of ylang ylang and any other oils you want to include. Then put your head over um, the bowl and put a towel so it's covering the bowl and your head and just um, get, the, get the fumes in. Um, so, so it can, that's a, another way that you can have it for being relaxing. So ylang ylang, we got it as a single oil, but it's also in elevation, serenity, deep blue, clary calm, in tune, peace, console, hope touch, um, the pore reducing toner, the virage toner, and the anti-aging eye cream. So it's in a lot of different things. It's got the normal cautions, um, possible skin sensitivity, in which case just dilute it with fractionated coconut oil. Keep out of the reach of children. If you are pregnant, nursing, or under a doctor's care, consult your physician. Avoid contact with eyes, inner ears, and sensitive areas. So um, there are some cool recipes um, that I will send you. There's one for um, a body lotion that uses ylang ylang, frankincense, and myrrh. You can also just add the oils to the unscented lotion that doTERRA has. A leave-in conditioning spray for your hair. A lift and calm roller. And um, I love this one that I'm going to send for you. It is a self-love roller. That's got clary sage, peppermint, ylang ylang, Siberian fir, bergamot, and grapefruit. So I will send you those recipes. And I will also send you um, Laura Jacobs' handout that's got some additional uses. Some, um, it's got a recipe for a massage blend um, and directions for use. So that is what I've got for ylang ylang. I, oh, the other thing I was going to tell you. Um, vetiver is great for relaxing and sleep. I don't particularly like the aroma of vetiver, but I like what it does. And I've got several different um, recipes for, um, for sleep aids, for roller bottle recipes. So ylang ylang and wild orange are in one of the recipes that also has vetiver and it counterbalances the aroma of vetiver. Um, like I say, I love the benefits of vetiver, but vetiver to me smells like dirt. And that's not particularly relaxing. But you add the ylang ylang to it, and it's a whole different ballgame. So this is really good. Now, tonight, 